first thing is only deal with women who are 100% cooperative. Only deal with women who are 100% cooperative. So that means, you know, let's say you're talking to a girl. You say, hey, you know, give me your number. And she's like, oh, no. How about you, you know, let me get your number. Don't deal with her. Keep it moving. Just good night. Have a nice life. I'm gone. Only deal with chicks who, when you say, hey, give me your number, they give you the number. Right? Only deal with women who are, you know, you're on a date with them. And you trying to kiss them. Oh, I'm not that type of girl. Don't deal with those girls. Thank you. Have a nice day. Don't call them. Rip their number up. It's over. Only deal with women when you're on a date with them. And you're, you know, chilling with them. And you're trying to kiss them. They actually kiss you back. So make sure that the women that you deal with are 100% cooperative. Number two. The second thing to do is pay attention to a woman's actions. So. If you're dating a chick and you're out with a girl and you're trying to get physical with her and she's consistently not trying to get physical with you and pushing your hand away or acting like, oh, well, you know, like I need to take it slow. But but on the flip side, she's trying to pretend like she likes you and she's saying, oh, how much of a good time she has with you. So it's kind of like you're confused. You're like, well, wait a second. If you like me, you like me, but then you don't want me to do anything. You don't want me to kiss you. So what the fuck is going on? The thing is, is that pay attention to the actions. Her actions are not in you know alignment with what she's saying. So she's, you know, playing games or she's confused. She doesn't know what she wants. Either way, it's not good for you. So listen, you know, pay attention to Her actions, meaning that you see that she's not reciprocating interest physically. So you keep it moving because it don't matter what she's saying. She's not really the the physical is not happening. So she's on some bullshit. Right. So a woman can say all this stuff all she wants, but, you know, pay attention to her actions. She could be like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm I'm I'm, you know, I'm so sexually free. I'm such a sexually free person. I just want to hang out and do this. And then you say, okay, cool. How about you come over to my house, you know, tomorrow night? Oh, um, 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 I don't know. Pay attention to the actions. The actions will tell you what's really going on. And the third thing I would say, and I say this a lot in a lot of my podcasts is date a lot of women. And when it pertains to this subject, it's going to help you in two ways. One, it's going to make you be able to see and spot a lot of this deceptive stuff. Because the more women you date, the more that you'll, you're you going to see these things and you're going to be able to spot it out easier. Because it takes practice to spot this out. You're not going to really notice it if you're not dating as much. So if you're dating girls here and there and here and there and doing this and doing that, you can sort of spot when a chick is on some BS. You can sort of spot when a chick is acting like, oh, well, you know, I'm not the type of girl I, I, I you know, I don't do this and I don't do that. You understand what I'm saying? And the reason why it, it, it helps you out is because the more women you date the more you're going to see, you're going to be able to compare and contrast. Meaning, let's say you, uh, you know, you went out with 10 girls this month or something. And let's say, you know, six of them was on that, I'm not the type of girl, let's take it slow type of stuff, right? But the other four were super cooperative. You know, you, 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 you were physical with them. They were physical with you. You know, you're kissing them, they're kissing you back and all this other stuff. So then you say to yourself, hmm, I went out with these girls and they kissed me. They didn't have a problem with this. They didn't have a problem with that. And I went out with these other girls and they had a problem with it. So basically what that's saying is, is all I need to do is date more women and find the women who are cooperating. That's it. You understand? A lot of times guys try to find they'll try to you know still talk to the other six girls and try to make it work and do all this other nonsense and try to you know uh quote unquote build attraction and all this. you don't got to do all of that nonsense you just find the women who are going to cooperate and by dating more women you start to see that there are actually women out there who is not going to be on that nonsense who is not going to really try to be on some deceptive stuff just to get your attention right And, you know, the second thing that dating a lot of women will do is that, you know, 
it gives you more women to date and as a result you have more abundance and then you don't feel as needy because if you have this girl and that girl and that girl that you're dating when you encounter a girl who is being deceptive or who is playing games or who is not really trying to be with you and all that other stuff, you don't feel the need to try to make it work. Because if you, if she's the only girl you're seeing, you're like, damn, she's the only one I'm trying to make it work because I want to have some sex. I want to do this and do that. But if you have other girls that you're dealing with, what you can, you know, you don't really need to even bother with that. You're just like, hey, whatever. There's girls all around. There's more girls I'm dating. I'm going on a date tomorrow. I got a girl I'm seeing next week. It is what it is. You understand? So it helps you not feeling the pressure or feeling like you have to try to make it work with any one particular girl.